Euronews has seen firsthand the struggle of people living on the front line of the conflict in eastern Ukraine. Militia fighters of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic accompanied our film crew to the town of Staromikhailovka, some 20 kilometers west of Donetsk. This woman showed us the ruins of her destroyed home, hit by a rocket. Questioned about the weekend election here, this woman says maybe now will be officially recognized, so we can ask for help and get it from somewhere. There's been a lot of uncertainty. This coal was given to the family by a friend who's a miner. Residents here have had neither electricity nor gas for three months. Water supplies are also disrupted. This Orthodox priest told us a lot of people wish this place to be Russian territory. Now they say it doesn't matter what they will decide, because the most important thing is to bring peace to the region, because we can't go on living in these conditions, he says. This town is one of those caught up in the crossfire and the fighting between Ukrainian forces and separatists. Our correspondent says, according to the militia of the Donetsk People's Republic who brought us here, we're right on the front line. We're just one kilometer from the Ukrainian outposts and positions.